Good morning! <laughs> Let's go to work. to work. I figure I should introduce myself. My name is Carol Ann McAfee. I'm the 4-H agent here in Garland County at the Cooperative Extension Service. Um, I've been the agent for about a little over two years now, so I'm finally starting to get the hang of it. <laughs> so today we have a busy day. Um, when I get in the office, it's about 7, it's 7.37 a.m., <laughs> a little bit early start for today but I didn't get everything I needed to do done yesterday so we had to do it early this morning so I'm gonna get in and um, get the name tags made because we have our sewing and gardening day camp today so that'll be really exciting take you along with me um, so I have to make the name tags and then pack my bag um, I always like to take extra things for them to do just in case we have some downtime so I like to bring um, either board games or cards. I like to bring um, just color pencils, crayons, markers, papers. I just bring those just, just in case. You never know. So let's get going for the day. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the EHC building. We are so lucky and so blessed to have such an awesome fairgrounds and such an awesome EHC building that we get to use for our 4-H day camps and different activities that we do. So I'll let you, I'll run down kind of what our day camp will be like today. Um, so in the morning, our FCS agent, Allison Crane, and her EHC ladies are going to teach the kids how to sew. So we have some more um, beginner type projects and then some more advanced projects for those who have been to sewing camp before and then we're going to eat lunch and then in the afternoon we're going to do some um, gardening horticulture forestry different activities in the afternoon so it should be a really busy really fun day um, it's really awesome to have such great co-workers um, volunteers so I can kind of serve as the chaos coordinator <laughs> and go around and, and help while our volunteers really teach our kids and it should be a awesome really great day <laughs> All right, so day one <laughs> of day camp is over. We have two more days, um, and in those clips, we I showed you the kids were sewing. Um, so they're making those fabric baskets. And then in the other clip that I showed you, it was we set up day one of the experiment. So um, we had soda and water and what was the other thing? Soda, water, and then uh, water with salt in it to see how that affects the celery leaves um, and in the cold and heat and just like a control temperature. So we'll see on the last day what those look like. Uh, but for now, we're headed back to the office, gonna unload some things and do some more work. All right, now that I'm back at the office, I am going to be checking some emails. Um, posting some content on Facebook about state Orama because we're getting ready for state Orama. And then I am going to, um, we have a summer reading program and it's a take home virtual activity. And so I'm going to film me reading some children's books. <laughs> so this is one of the books that we will be reading for our summer reading program. This is giraffes can't dance so with this one the kids will learn about their different unique abilities and um and most of these books are about leadership we're going to do spaghetti and a hot dog bun it's a really good one of course the classic um the day the crayons quit it's super cute 
um, the gingerbread man loose in the school. Pete the cat and his magic sunglasses. And then the way back home. So this is a program that I actually got from a fellow extension agent. Um, and I wanted to test it out on our 4-H'ers first before I do this in the classroom. So I thought this would be a really fun way to test out the program and make it a take-home kit. The kids will watch a different um, YouTube video of me reading the books and then doing an activity with them at home. So, um, for example, the gingerbread man gets loose in the school. I'm going to read it and then I will send them home with the ingredients to make gingerbread Play-Doh. So, um, they'll have different activities for different weeks. And it'll be, I think it'll be good. So, but today I'm going to read Giraffes Can't Dance and it is a very cute book. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm set up here on my iPad to film me reading the book. <laughs> and I am done for the day at the office. Tomorrow is our day two of our day camp. In the morning I have to pick up a few more supplies. And then tomorrow I will edit those videos I did today reading the storybooks. So as you can see, no day is ever going to be the same as an extension agent, especially a 4-H agent. Every day is different. So I'm going to run home and feed my horses and chickens and goats and all that good stuff. I'll take you along for that too. So when I get home from the office, it's usually time to feed and water all of our critters here at the house. So I will show you what that looks like. It's always more fun to do farm chores with a buddy. So we had some leftover celery from our science project today. And I think the goats are really gonna enjoy them. I think someone's ready for her dinner too. Now that I'm all hot and sweaty, the horses are fed, water, have hay. And then I set up the feed for in the morning so my dad can feed the horses. <laughs> Because I'm a little spoiled. I like to sleep in and he feeds in the morning. And that's our routine. <laughs> all right, so I finished all of the barn chores and I fed myself. And now I'm going to start some sunflower seeds. The sunflower experts are probably cringing at me right now. <laughs> but I'm going to start them in little pots and then put them in the garden later. So let's do that right now. As you can see, it's getting dark out. So I'm fixing to water my sunflower seeds and get in the house. Thank y'all so much for watching a day in my life. As a 4-H agent, I will say not every day is the same, but it is so fun that way and so worth it. Can't wait to wake up in the morning and start again. <laughs>